dealing with kind of erotic imagination as a metaphor for creative imagination and for the creative act of, of putting forward your authentic self and, and having the um, ability to sit inside of something that is unique and specific to you and may feel unrevealable or foolish. And I think that this is something as human beings we very naturally do inside our own erotic imaginations. We sit inside of authenticity and it may not be the thing we share with anyone, not even a lover. It might just be our deepest, truest fantasy world. But it's what an artist is attempting to do, which is listen to the truth and tell, tell something about themselves that is really just of them, you know, truly of them. My work is always dealing with sexuality at some level. I think sexuality is a very present part of my work. Because for me, sexuality is such a really accurate portal into identity. And I, and I think it's a very hard thing to pin down, what we really feel about desire and chemistry. And I think it's very fluid, it's very layered, it's really complex. And I think now our current contemporary politics are coming to really recognize how shadowed and complex that world is and, and ultimately how fascinatingly revealing it is, what you, what you hearken toward and what you feel um, drawn to, where your desire flows, that says a great deal about who you really are. A lot of research around, specifically around the psychology of sexuality and fantasy and, and sort of what purpose fantasies serve in our lives, erotic fantasies, and, and how they unlock us from our inhibitions. I mean, we create very complex, very brilliantly constructed narratives um, or images or imagistic worlds or whatever that are so precisely crafted to unlock what we need to unlock. Mm -hmm. 